Greetings or welcome back internet. Um, in this uh, video I'm going to uh, show you the benefits of uh, transferring your characters from uh, Might and Magic uh, Book 1, in Secret of the Inner Sanctum, to Might and Magic Book 2, Gates of Another World. Um, as you can see we've uh, just now reached the end of Might and Magic 1 and take a look at my character statistics right quick. Um, gold upwards of 100,000, gems upwards of 3,000, uh, level uh, greater than 100, and we'll just leave it at that for uh, now. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and open up book two. get into the main menu here you want to go ahead and start your game and as you can see this is the default characters that's the only one available right now we'll go ahead and T transfer characters and it asks you to input the uh, directory path which if you're running under DOS box it'll be whatever directory um, you're mounted under, that'll be your C drive directory. So go ahead and input that file wherever it may be. Save new roster. It means that it found it. Yes. Take a look here. And as you can see, everybody has been imported from that might magic one save file. We'll go ahead and go to town, the first town, and we'll get our main party here. Go ahead and exit. And there are my current statistics. As you can see, uh, any if you're above level seven, level seven or above, that's what it truncates or puts your level at. As for all your statistics, if they're above 20, then they reduce them back to 20. Um, gold is reduced to a thousand, gems is reduced to 100, and they go ahead and start you out with 40 food, no matter if you create characters or not. And as you can see, the age is also the same. So you want to make sure to uh, go to the uh, the Sands of Time Isle in the desert in Might and Magic 1 and get all your age to 18 before you um, transfer them in here. Oh, okay. Age 30 is the max cap. If your age is above 30, then it brings it down to 30. Because I know my character's ages were above that. Um, and you get the, the corresponding experience. As you can see, archers and sorcerers and paladins as in Might and Magic 1, they have more experience because it takes them more experience to get to the next level. And uh, almost all my statistics are 20, intellect, cleric don't care about intellect anyway, and personality, and knight doesn't care about personality. But um, that just shows you uh, how uh, it gives you, just gives you a good jump. Um, you start out with spell levels of 4 with your cleric and sorcerer, spell level of 1 with your uh, paladin, and your archer, uh, just like in my magic wand. And that's about all to show you. So, um, this is just one reason why the PC version is superior to the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo versions of Might and Magic 1 and 2, respectively. And that's all for this video. I'll see you next time.